Now that we have determined how many calories, protein, carbs and fats you should eat every day, we have to come up with a meal structure. Meal structure refers to how your diet is set up, taking into consideration the four following variables. Number of meals, protein intake around activity, carb intake around activity and fat intake around activity. With meal number, anything between three and eight meals per day is both effective and realistic. Like I said in the lesson on meal frequency, you can get away with only two meals, but it makes things more complicated than they need to be. For this lesson, I'm going to assume that our 180 pounds man eats five meals per day. If you eat fewer meals, then don't worry and simply combine two meals. So step one in our meal structure is done. And now we have to add the right macro intakes for each meal. Let's start with protein. In general, protein timing is not a very important factor in your diet, as long as you consume some before and after your workout. In the lesson pre and post workouts, you learn that there should be around 0.2 grams per pound of your target body weight. Let's assume he wants to roughly maintain his body weight, so you would have to consume around 35 grams of protein pre and post workout. This leaves us with 75 grams of protein that we will have to evenly consume throughout the day. On two carbs, just as with protein, you want to provide your body with carbs before and after your workout. And again, it should be at least 0.2 gram per pound of your target body weight. Since going higher than this isn't really a problem as there are some simple guidelines. I will assume that our 25 year old eats 0.3 grams before his workout and 0.4 grams afterwards workout as he just got out of the gym and is hungry. This still leaves us with 145 grams of carbs for the rest of the day. How you divide them up is really up to you. You might want to eat large breakfast or maybe a snack before bed. For the sake of simplicity, I will divide the remaining carbs up evenly among the meals, but feel free to change this up accordingly to your lifestyle. Last on the list is fat timing. Fat timing should be the last of your concerns. Since it really doesn't matter, like I said before, the only time I can have a negative impact is right before your workout, as it slows down the digestion of carbs and proteins. So if you eat your pre-workout meal very close to your workout, keep this in mind. At this point though, I think things are complicated enough, so I will just evenly divide the 60 grams throughout our meals. This leaves us with the following meal structure. Now, as you know, there are additional calories needed to reach the TDE of 2600, which should be either fat or carbs. Feel free to add them to any meal you like. Your largest meal will probably be either your breakfast and or your pre and post workout meals. So they are always a good option. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit the subscribe button before you go. If you have any questions, comment below, give me a like and just follow me to don't miss one of my videos on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. To your success, your health and wealth mentor.